Hi! In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the latest U of T Digital Lab and Value Edge Functional Test Digital Lab releases. First up, Cloud to Local Testing. A new tunneling solution allows you to use OpenText cloud devices and browsers to test apps hosted on your private networks. After you set up and configure a Cloudflare tunnel, you enable the integration in administration settings. OpenText hosted cloud devices and browsers can now access apps on a private server. Several improvements are introduced for cloud browsers. Copying and pasting text is supported. You can close the window of a manual testing session on a cloud browser without removing the session. To make it easier to identify the sessions that are running, the type of browser session is now displayed in the Running Sessions tab. Cloud browser details are now also displayed in the Browser tab title. Next up, Device Cleanup. Workspace administrators can now control the settings for automatic device cleanup for the workspaces that they administer. In addition to the automatic option, Users can also trigger a manual cleanup at the end of a session directly from the remote device display. Cleanup can also be initiated from the device actions. If the automatic iOS signing service is enabled, you can now re-sign an app after upload from the applications page. This is useful if the developer certificate or provisioning profile changes. iOS 17 is now also supported on a Linux Ubuntu connector. Ubuntu is now also supported for the UFT Digital Lab server and connector installation on Linux. Moving on to Appium. You can now install a specific build or version of an app for testing. Use the new Digital Lab app counter capability to specify the app upload number. Drag and drop during manual testing is now also supported on iOS. And now for some additional enhancements. The audio quality for talkback accessibility testing was improved. Accessibility improvements were made to enhance functionality and usability when using a screen reader. And lastly, the embedded Appium v2 server was upgraded to version 2.4.1 and the default Appium version was changed to version 2. Check out the Help Center to learn more and enjoy the new Digital Lab releases.